Hello, everyone. It's Plastic EP here from Melbourne, Australia. Now, it's my very special guest from Puerto Rico. And I've got to tell you, this Beatles tribute band are very, very talented. They look like pinup boys from the magazine. This is these guys. <laughs> They're very good. Hello, Jukebox Beatles. How are you today? Hey. Hey man, pretty good. Okay, well, Hello, we got pretty good plastic. I, how you doing? Plastic. Thank you. We got. <laughs> I gotta say, I want you all to introduce yourself. So we start from okay. June. We go Alex Mia, and then we go Francisco, and then we go Alexandro. So say hello first. Go June. Hey. Hello, hello, hello. This is Juan Carlos from the Jukebox Beatles. It's a pleasure to be here, sharing with you guys plastic. Thank you for having us. Hello, everybody. Thank you, Plastic, for inviting us. My name is Arlem R. Mendez. I played the John Lennon part guitar in the Jukebox Beatles tribute. I am Francisco Cairo. Nice to be here, Plastic, and I play George Harrison. Hello, everybody. My name is Alejandro, and I play the uh, bass in the Jukebox Beatles. Thank you for having me. That's fantastic. As I said, the world is your oyster. I saw your live show before the pandemic in the park very uh -huh, very yeah. good show oh that's a good yeah. was well, fun. Thank you, tell thank me you. about tell me about that june tell me about that yeah man uh, it was it was the show that we did in a western in a western town of rincon it's a town in the western coast of puerto rico and yeah. uh, it was a beautiful day very sunny day we did the show and uh it was great and then you know a week later pandemic arrived coronavirus arrived and everything came to a halt. But you know, we've been very busy on social media and doing lives and doing shows and doing our own very show that we have. It's a talk show called Beatlemania XL. We get together every week. You know, we talk about the Beatles and we sing songs and we talk with Beatle fans all over the world. And uh, yeah, we've been, even though we're not doing live shows, but we've been very busy, you know, working around social media and stuff. You Just wait for this to be over. You guys have got a very big hello from Hal Bruce. I just spoke to him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Hal. 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 Yeah, that's all right. I'm going to interview him after you. So I'll tell him I okay. said, hello. Now, listen, you also got another fan, okay? Now, Mitch Wiseman. We're oh. going to say hello to Mitch. Hello, Mitch. Hey, Mitch. Hey, Mitch. How are you doing? Hey, Mitch. Mitch. It's and Alexandra is going to play. I saw her standing there. Let's go, Alexandra. Come on. You'll give me that. Yes. Well, she was just 17. And you know what I mean. And the way she looked was way beyond compare. So how could I dance with another? Ooh, when I saw her standing there. Yeah. 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 That was Mitch. Yeah. Mitch. Mitch Weissman is the original uh, Paul tribute guy, you know, in the history of Beatle bands. He's the original, so we have a lot of respect for him. We love Mitch. Now, also, your other friend, which I know you played, what was it, Abbey Road on the River or something? Your friend, Charles Rosnay. Yeah. A big hello to Charles hey. Rosnay. Hey, hey, Charles. Up, hey, Charles. Hey, Charles. Hey, Charles. Charles My brother. Friend from New York City. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. And we got Al's Mia, and he's going to play Please Please Me for Charles Rosnay. Let's go, Al's Mia. <laughs> Francisco, 
Before you guys became the Jukebox Beatles, I'll talk about that in a minute, you used to play in an oldies band. Play me, and I know that you're the biggest Monkeys fan. Put your hands up if you're the biggest monkey fan in the band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. What are you going to play? A bit of last train of clocks before the monkeys, people. Yeah, just, just a little bit, it. yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> hey. Now, listen, before we start talking about the interview, i got to get Alexandro to play just a, another bit of some bass. Play a little, another Beatles song with a bit of bass in it. Yeah. Let's do, let's do like a bassy song. Let's do like uh, All My Loving. Yeah, beautiful. Thank you. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you Tomorrow I'll miss you Remember I'll always be true And then while I'm away I'll write home every day And I'll send all my loving to you <laughs> now, Al, now we got Alamia, um, Alamia, that's how we say it. He's going to do Ask Me Why. That's a beautiful song. Yeah, thank you. I love you. Just the only things I want to know. And it's true that it really only goes to show that I know that I, 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 I. Never, never, never be true. Now you're mine. My happiness it makes me cry. And in time, you can the reason why. If I cry, because it's not a sad. But you're the only love that I've ever had. I got confused that I can't believe it's happened to me. That's beautiful. Well done. <laughs> well, I mean, great. Great. <laughs> well done. You, you practice at home. You practice at home. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you, did, you did. Hey, June, I've got to say now, okay, seriously, tell me now how you came up with the name Jukebox Beatles. Yeah, actually, we started out, we didn't start as a, as a Beatles band. We started out as an oldies band. So, you know, when you think about oldies music, 1950s music, you think about a jukebox. So that's what we were. You know, we were a jukebox of old songs. But then, you know, we had a promoter that said, you know, hey, you guys need to do the Beatles thing. Because, you know, at the time, there was an album called One, number one, uh, the Beatles number one, which was a compilation. And it was yeah. the best selling album in Puerto Rico. So... You know, we took that moment and uh, we, we started the Beatles tribute and, you know, we changed to Jukebox Beatles and this is it, man. We've been doing this for a long time, traveling the world, meeting lots of people, a lot of fans around the world, meeting a lot of musicians. And it's been a great, it's been a great ride. You've done the cruise, haven't you? Yeah, the yeah. Final, we've done cruise. How good was yeah, that? We, oh, man, it was great. It was great. We got to see... Not only we got to to play to an audience that was like very intense, like very hardcore uh, 60s music fans, but we got to meet a lot of, you know, basically our heroes, you know, like Felix Cavalier from the John Rascals, uh, the guys from Sly and the Family Stone. We got to meet uh, uh, Mickey, what, Dolan. What uh, Mickey Dolan's from the Monkees. Yeah. Hi, Mickey. Big hello, yeah. Mickey. Come on. Hey, hello, hey Mickey. Mickey. What's up? Hey, Mickey. We love hey, you. Mickey. Come on. So, yeah, it's it's basically, you know, it's been a dream come true for us to be able to meet all these great artists, you know, that change the course of popular music. That's fantastic. And also, when you played in America on the river, Abbey Road River, tell me about that. What was that? Yeah, John yeah. organized that. Abbey, yeah, Abbey Road and River is a festival. It's, it's the biggest uh, festival 
a Beatles festival in the United States. I would say the biggest festival in the whole world. And uh, it's about four or five days of nonstop Beatles bands. And you get bands that not only play the Beatles, but they play Zeppelin tribute, they play Hendrix, all kinds of music. And yeah, we got to meet a lot of, of great musicians from different bands and, and you know, it's, it's, it's an incredible adventure. We've been doing that since 2006. And, uh, you know, we're one of the favorites over there. And we're so glad every time, you know, we get to go and play and have fun. Because, it's you know, this is what it's all about. It's why I have fun. i got to tell you something. you got a rock star life down there in Puerto Rico. And I know my friend Charles is dying to come down to Puerto Rico. And I've actually got him on the line yeah. now. He's on the line yeah. now on the internet watching. So say again, hello, yeah. Charles. Hello, Charles. Hey, Charles. Hello, Charles. Hey. He's going to meet Puerto Rico. He's going to meet you down in Puerto Rico. And <laughs> I think I might come down there and we go to a bar and we drink some rum together. Yes. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, we hang let's, out let's at let's the beach. Some, yeah, let's have some Puerto Rican rum. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Now, that's what, I, that's what I've been doing today. <laughs> you, now, who's going to do a special Beatles song for Charles now that he's online? Who volunteers Charles. to do a song? Oh. All right, Arlie, you have the guitar, man. Go ahead. Do something. Let's, uh, do some Beatles. Okay, let's do some help. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just not too hey, I need somebody help. Not just anybody help. help. You know, I need someone when I was young, I so got much it. younger than today. Never needed anybody's help in any way. But now these days, I've got to be so sure. Never mind, I gave my mind. I know the love I know. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you being around. Hey, that was beautiful. You know, you know what really comes through really nice? Alexandra, I'm telling you, when you play bass and you sing, you have a very sweet voice. So I need you to do, I need you to do, and I love her for my mother. Oh, oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Say, I want you to say, I want you to say, don't be too loud. I want you to say, this is for Plastic EP's mum, and her name's Anne, okay? And she'll watch this. Cool. This is for Plastic EP mom, and this is, and I love her. It goes like this. I give her all my love, that's all I do. And if you saw my love, you love her too. And I love her. She gives me everything and tenderly. The kiss my lover brings, she brings to me, and I love her. Okay, take over, <laughs> Alzmia. Next chorus, go. What? what? Next chorus. Continue the song. The chorus. The, song. It's the, it's the other part. I love my God. Could never die. As long as I have you near me, bright on the stars to shine, dark is the sky. I know this love of mine will never die. Come on, Francisco, continue. <laughs> the solo. Right. 
Light all the stars yeah, and shine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. In the sky. I know this love of mine will never die. And I love her. Come on, Al Al Jindra, <laughs> come on. Come on. Wait, I'm lost. <laughs> ba -ba 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 Oh yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> that was great fun. Now listen, tell me where they yeah. find you. Jim, yeah, tell me where they find you on the net now. Yeah, you they, they look uh, look for us on our website www.jukebox on a uh, dash beatles.com jukebox jukebox dash beatles.com or look for us on facebook as jukebox beatles tribute instagram jukebox beatles tribute and uh yeah just say hello tag us you know let's talk about the beatles and you know let's share the love now yeah. listen when this pandemic finishes what would you guys like to do i know you're going to go back playing live have you got anything coming up near the end of the year that might still go ahead uh yeah yeah uh the, yeah the abbey road on the river festival is going to be in october uh it's going to be in jeffersonville indiana october 8 9 10 so which is john lennon's birthday and it's going to be a great weekend you know celebrating the music of the beatles and the music of john lennon and uh you know rock and roll in general i gotta say that's a very big event there and make sure you get your tickets to go to that because that sounds like the best tribute you know you could ever do and just give me an idea when you're playing there how great it is where you are and the fans tell me what it's like there with the fans last oh, time man. the fans are great the fans are great i mean they they love i mean everywhere we play you know they're right there in front of us you know cheering us and dancing and singing with us and we have fans that even travel with us to different countries we've been to guatemala we've been to uh you know other countries and the fans you know some fans will just travel with us and that's that's great that's great we can't complain about our fans they're great can you get a road boat from san juan and come to australia uh, it's gonna <laughs> be a long it's gonna be a long, a long ride. it's gonna be a long one <laughs> it's gonna be a long doesn't one. matter you can uh, play music all the way there and make sure <laughs> you bring your girlfriends too all right okay, yeah. okay. okay. A big boat <laughs> we're, gonna, right, sure. we're gonna find we're gonna try to find a yellow submarine <laughs> yeah that's exactly what we need now tell me more about the band how did you guys come together you school friends or you knew uh, each other tell me well uh i know i knew francisco from the the puerto rican uh, club scene of rock music it's you know spanish rock that's what we used to play spanish rock original bands and i knew francisco and i saw that he had the beetle haircut so I said, this guy must like the Beatles. So I contacted him, you know, and, and he said, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And after that, you know, the other guys can tell you the rest of the story. All right, Al Smith, tell me how you found him. Je yeah, well, well, uh, I knew the guys. Uh, I knew the guys from around as well, from the rock and roll scene in Puerto Rico. So when when some one fateful day, they asked me to join the band and lucky for me, it's been a good ride. I've been together with them, rocking, uh, rocking and rolling around the world. You got the rock and roll lifestyle like Charles Rose. Now he's got the rock and roll lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> I got it too. Now yeah. listen, lifestyle. <laughs> Alexandro, I'm honest. Yes. You look the youngest in the band. Are you the youngest? Yeah, yeah, you I am. Big. You look I'm 15. Actually. I actually, oh man, oh man, you should know. I have a, I have a nickname back in uh, Indiana. They call me Teenage Paul for some reason. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to ask your age, but what are you in your 20s? I'm, I'm actually 27. I'm going to be 28 this Friday. Yeah, yeah. but see, this is where you make the mistake. You never <laughs> really? say When they ask how old you are, you say, 21. Okay. Oh man. Well, well, I'm in my 20s. Let's <laughs> say like 21. It sounds uh, better. <laughs> okay, then I'm 21. I'm 21. Now you, must, you must get a lot of emails and things from fans all over the world. Which <laughs> countries love you? And tell me some of these emails you get. Well, man, I I get a lot of a lot of emails, a lot of messenger. You know, a lot of Facebook friends. 
uh they usually message me just to say you know how good uh, we are at, like at, as a band but uh you know there's a few a few girls out there that would just want to you know get my number and stuff <laughs> yeah so, i know i got that problem too i got a lot of people living in my garden 24 hours <laughs> for the rock and roll lifestyle hey yeah. girls go away from the window I'm busy. <laughs> anyway francisco i gotta yeah. ask you something right Right. You, I've got to see your T-shirts. Show me the T-shirt and show me your guitar, the electric. Okay. Yeah, let's have a look. Is that T-shirt? Yeah, don't take it off. It's all right. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Keep your right. clothes on. All right. Okay. Show yeah, me yeah. the electric guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't take your clothes off, please. Please. <laughs> Everybody will go and watch something else on the on the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, did you get that guitar made like George Harrison? Did you get yeah, that guitar it, made? Yeah, it was a uh, it was a Fender Strat that I had painted on by a friend of mine. Uh, he did it just like George. Yeah. And then he he added these cartoons that are not on the original, obviously. See, you can see that. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And you know, it's uh, you know, I have collected most of the important Beatles guitars, but this is the one that everybody always asks me about. It's the, most, the one that gets the most attention. Yeah, but you get a lot of attention too. Who gets more attention from the girls in the band? Now, let me guess if I have <laughs> to guess, all right? Tell me if, if I'm right or wrong, everybody. I'd say first guess is Alexandro. Is that right or yeah. wrong? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, a second one. A second one I've got for June. Is that right? Oh, that's a good guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Is that right or wrong? <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, classic. Thanks for the go. Now, I've got classic, to be honest, thanks. all right? Now it's between Francisco <laughs> and Alamar. I'm going to go last. Alamar. For, for, for last, me? Third? Last but not least. <laughs> hey, Plastic, thank you for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Is he third or not? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I could say. Uh, I could say. Sorry. You're right. And what, Frank, yeah. and what Francisco's right. last? <laughs> uh, well, I think I think it's uh, Alejandro, Alexandro, then it's Alemar, yeah. then you know, then one us two, the us two old guys. So well, yeah, then, you then know the what old it guys, is, you know. I know what it is. I know what your problem is. I'll, I'll tell is? you, Come it's me. because your hair comes down to your eyes, and they can't see your beautiful eyes. <laughs> well, uh, it's usually it shorter, is. but you know, I haven't been able to get a haircut in. Uh, in this uh, pandemic, so yeah, no, that's hey, all right. Don't worry. Hey, hey plastic. plastic, yeah. Hey, plastic. I think Alejandro should be last. You know why? Because why? he's the bass player. Because he's the bass ah! player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when I asked June what he can do, he said I drum and I'm the manager and I collect the money. So <laughs> you know, he doesn't he's do too no, much, does no he? <laughs> he doesn't do too much. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. Yeah, but you, you're about right, because Alejandro gets, you know, he's the youngest guy, he gets most of the, you know, the fans and stuff, they all cheer for him. Yeah, the younger ones. <laughs> yeah. that's, like, that's like when the Beatles went to America, they loved Ringo. But in this case, in your band, they love Paul. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. yeah. That's about yeah. right. That's amazing. John. Well, things change, you know. Yeah, yeah. No. Now I want to know if I came to Puerto Rico, right? Tell me what I need to see there. Do I need to go to a bar? Do I need to go to the beach? Oh, wow. What's the lifestyle uh, like? I, I would say uh, go to Old San Juan, Old San Juan in San, you know, San Juan, the capital city. Go to Old San Juan, which is the historic part. A lot of bars and restaurants, and a lot of fun at night. And uh, take a trip to the west of Puerto Rico. A uh, town called Rincon, which is, you know, the lawn shawl that you saw, you know, it's it's in that town, which is a very quiet surfing town. You know, I know Australia is big for surfing. So Rincon is, a, you know, it's another surfing hotspot, too, in the world. Very, very yeah. famous, you know, uh, surfing location. So it's, a, you know, so you can go to San Juan. It's very fast moving. But then you go to the West Rincon, which is very slow. Everybody's yeah. chilling to the beach, you know, having a drink by the beach, drinking some rum, drink, you know, having fish tacos. Yeah. 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 Hey, Charles Rosner likes fish tacos. 
He likes fish tacos. He'll be down there lying on the beach with a hat and the sun in his face. And he sleeping. Likes he'll be sleeping on the beach. Yeah. And, yeah, you guys, yeah. and you guys can serve him drinks. Is that all right? Oh, well, yeah, yeah sure. sure. Right, right we'll get sure. Francisco to dress up I'm... in the outfit, the waiter's outfit, and serve the drinks. And then we'll get <laughs> Alexandro. He's going to be his personal driver <laughs> to drive him around, right? And how's me? You're going to be his. You're going to be his cook at home. Oh. And June, <laughs> and June you're yep. going to make sure you pay for everything from the bank. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know what? We can do all of this, all those things. You know, we can do that, but we can do it for you, man. For plastic, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the coins. Yes. <laughs> Tell me something, June. This is true. If you won the lottery tomorrow, if you won the big lottery, okay, and you won a lot of money, yes, what would you do? Would you buy everyone a guitar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Really? I'll buy a guitar. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. And then tell yeah. me, would you buy your own desert island? Uh, if I could, I would. Yeah, definitely. Yes. And then would you make sure you don't tell the others where you live? I won't. <laughs> I, won't. I, I say, here you go, guys. Have some guitars. See ya. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> See you guys. Have Peace some guitars. Out. <laughs> yeah, tell Text me. me. Don't call me. <laughs> tell me, guys, now. I want you to tell me. What else do you want to tell the world about the jukebox Beatles now while you can? Anything you want? Uh, I just want to say, you know, that uh, we're so honored to be doing this. Uh, we're honored to play the Beatles music. We do it with love. We do it with respect to the to the Beatles as musician and as artist. And uh, to be honest, you know, it's truly an honor for us to do all this and to have uh, the people give us back you know their love their appreciation to what we do that's that's what i would say what about you Azma? what do you want to say well i would like to say the world to come join us in the fun you know all together now come together and join the jukebox family through the platforms that juan carlos mentioned earlier you know and it's been a great ride for me as a musician to get to play beatles song because it's, it's a great learning effort, you know, to, to learn the Beatles songs and play them live and sing them live. It's, it's not an easy task, you know, if I can say that, you know, uh, as humble as possible. So yeah, everybody, sure. <laughs> everybody, uh, hello and goodbye. <laughs> you know, June, what I really like, each one of you has got very unique voices. You have, you've all got very unique voices because that's where you're from. Now, Alexandro, what do you want to say to everybody while well, you can? Give them your email address so oh, they can wow. send you a fa fan mail. I'll pretend no, I don't no. hear it. <laughs> I can my, <laughs> into my DMs. Tinder, I can, Tinder. I, I can say go to the Jukebox Facebook page and like the <laughs> like and share the Jukebox <laughs> Facebook page. Uh, but I, I want to say to the whole world that uh, the Beatles are uh, the music that, you know, uh, transcends uh, age it's, it's not it's not only you know for the for the old people you know for the old people uh it's it's for everybody and uh and and it and, and we make a better place if we share the love of the beatles and 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 i think it's a duty to the people that doesn't know that the beatles are so good that they have to know the beatles so so let's share the love of the beatles in the whole world well said. You should be a politician. Very uh -huh. good. <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> <a> party. <laughs> now, Francisco, what would you like to say? Well, I would like to say that uh, you know it's it's a dream come true to to play in this band, and you know all of a sudden on a Wednesday you're talking to a guy in Australia. So it's uh, <laughs> it's really it's surreal sometimes, and it's an honor, and I'm so happy, and you know I really like these guys and I love the fans and you know, it's the dream job. So thank you very much, everybody. You know, if you come to Australia, you'd love it. I've got to explain. We've got a lot of animals here. You think the animals are friendly. Some animals not friendly that can kill you, honestly. <laughs> oh we got some spiders. I've seen the no. spiders, they're really big. We got some like spiders. spiders. <laughs> yeah, we got some spiders. 
we got some big ones down here, right? <laughs> and we got some yeah. big kangaroos too. So you have oh, to be yeah. really careful because here uh, got a lot of things that are dangerous. We got kangaroos going down the street. I see one now. Wait a minute. Do, <laughs> <laughs> Do kangaroos actually go like uh, like around like like you know? Like no, they bird? come in my car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, careful, there's a kangaroo behind you. That's right, I got one that drives my car every morning. He's my chauffeur. Plastic, I, plastic <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Is it, true the can, is it true the kangaroos can box, you know, box with clubs yeah, and stuff? That's true. If you go, there's a video of a man, he boxes a kangaroo and he punches it because he's standing there. It's true. Have you seen that video? I haven't. Oh, I haven't. No, no. I haven't, I haven't. Please I've go and see it. it. And also, <laughs> have you seen another clip on the net? Listen, where the, they got a Beatle band, tribute band, and they sing the song Havana Gila. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, have you seen uh, that one? Uh, uh, and they got different words. Have, have you seen that? No, I haven't. Oh. No. And somebody throws him a pair of women's underwear. It's so funny in the clip. <laughs> I'm not uh, joking. Do you see this? Uh huh. Skippy. Yeah, yeah. Skippy. This is Skippy. 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 This the is Skippy the bush kangaroo. There's a TV. Yeah, show. yeah, I, yeah, yeah. We used to watch it in Puerto Rico. Skippy the bush kangaroo. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, used to watch it when I was a kid. Yeah. And you know, <laughs> Charles Rosen, I said that's Australia's version of Lassie. Like in America, yeah, they got Lassie. Lassie. That's right. Yeah. In Australia, we got Skippy. <laughs> Skippy the kangaroo, you know, when, I, when I was a kid, they used to show the reruns, you know, of Skippy the bush kangaroo. Exactly. Yeah. But, you know, in America, they had Skippy. They had um, yeah, peanut Flipper. butter. Everybody uh, knows Skippy. the peanut butter and not Skippy. Yeah, Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> we but had listen, that too. I want to say, I love you guys. Thank and you, Lassie. It's been my pleasure. But what I want is now, I have to be fair, Francisco's got to sing a song as we say <laughs> goodbye, okay? So what would you like to play, Francisco? This is your choice. Uh, and this one can go to your girlfriend, okay? Okay, hold okay, on. What's your me... secret? <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. Let him, he's the playboy of the group. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Uh, <laughs> you're ready. He's the bad. Hey, I like you. I'd like you to know I'm watching that video of the kangaroo boxing right now. <laughs> no, seriously, are you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Imagine you watch the Havana Nagila with the Beatle Band. It's yeah, so I'm funny. Gonna, I'm going to look for that I'll one. look it up. <laughs> I'm looking it uh, up right uh, now. <laughs> okay, Francisco, let's go. Okay. <laughs> you never know how much I really You'll never know how much I really care. Listen, do you want a little secret? Do you promise not to tell? Whoa, whoa, closer. That is you stay in your ear. Do that, do. Where's you want to be? Say goodbye, everybody. All right, people. Goodbye. We'll see you. We'll we'll see you. Here with plastic Thank you. you uh, see you. And I say hello. Yeah, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. But goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know why you say goodbye. Say hello.